What's going on, Beastly Nation? It's the Beastly Gamer here, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Silent Hills, PT, and Resident Evil 7, and what they may or may not have in common. Obviously, anyone who saw the Resident Evil 7 demo at this year's E3 saw direct parallels between that game and the PT, the playable teaser, released by Konami, and later taken off the PlayStation Store and ultimately canceled permanently. The games have a very similar art style, very similar uh, gameplay mechanic, and they just are very, very similar. Anyone who's played them both and owns them both would be able to say, okay, this is very similar to this game. Uh, and I think that Capcom saw the whole debacle with Kojima, Konami, Silent Hills, Norman Reedus, and they saw the excitement of the fans. People were actually really excited to get their hands on a game that would quite literally scare the poop out of them. You know, I played that PT trailer, it was unlike any survival horror game I'd ever played before. It was like playing like the Amityville or playing a very, very creepy, scary, insidious type of game. And uh, Capcom saw the decision of Konami to just stop, you know, development of the game and ultimately cancel it. And I think that they just capitalized on that movement and I think it worked out for them. But Capcom has come out on the record and denied that they've taken any inspiration from Silent Hills or PT. I'll drop a link in the description. Silent Hills vs Resident Evil 7. Capcom denies they took inspiration from Silent Hills. The first thing many of us thought when seeing Resident Evil 7 during Sony's E3 media briefing was Capcom actually stealing ideas from the art style of Silent Hills demo PT. Well, it seems that this is not the case anyway. As Capcom reiterated recently, they have been working on this concept even before the PT demo was displayed in public. Producer Kawada told Eurogamer, quote, When PT surfaced, we were already into development and we were surprised to see it. We were already using a first-person perspective before anyone saw PT, so it wasn't as if we saw that and decided to do the same. It was already happening, so we were surprised and seeing PT and the reaction, it was a signpost for us that it was a good direction to go in. As for the fact that there are corridors and such, well, we had that in Resident Evil 1 back in 96. For us, it's about going back to our roots. All of those things were going to be in the game, end quote. Resident Evil 7 is releasing on January 26 for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, with the PS4 version being totally compatible with PlayStation VR for a true virtual reality experience. Do you trust Capcom on this matter? I don't know. Um, it seems like too much of a coincidence. It's always possible, man. You know, they could have been doing that, but it seems extremely similar in my opinion. Do I think it's it's a bad thing? No. If, if PT was coming out and still being developed and made the way it was, then I would feel really like Capcom is stealing from them and stealing ideas. But since PT was canceled, I'm actually happy. You know, I think this could be the spiritual successor of PT. I don't know if Capcom, if this is actually true, it is, you know. If Capcom started making this first, then, you know, they didn't steal it. But only time will tell if that ever comes out to be true or not. So at this point, we've got to take the developers at their word that they actually started developing this game before PT ever was even seen. So with that said, I don't know. You know, I'm just happy that Capcom is doing what, what Konami decided not to do. But I want to know from you guys in the comment section below, do you believe it's true that Capcom actually started making this game before PT was ever even seen? And this is the first time we're seeing anything about it? That just strikes me as a little, hmm, possibly hard to believe. Be sure to sound off in the comments below and give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,